Hey everybody, welcome back to Ganchi Plans and to another uh, monthly plan with me. This one I'm pretty excited for because I am trying out a new insert from My Summer Touch. This is brand new this week. Um, she sent it to me like the day before it went live in the shop, which I'm super grateful for so that I could get a chance to take a look at this. Um, and I'm going to be setting this up for the month of August 2020. So um, I'm going to start just by showing you this insert. This is insert 1210. I'll post a link below. Insert 1210 in the pocket size from my Summer Touch. And it's two-sided here. Oh, you could also print it to be, you know, open on both sides. But I decided to print it this way and fold it this direction so that um, when you open the planner, you'll have the monthly grid right here as an overview. And if you don't want to open it up, you can just look here to see uh, there's like one line for every day of the month. To, so I can put, you know, events as well as things that need to get done on specific days. And then when you do open up the flap, I really like this part. There's, uh, let's see, there's notes on this side. I might use that for to do's as well. And then there's a tracker for, you know, things you want to get done once a day and then room for some goal setting. There's room for six goals and then for weekly goals as well. I'm a big fan of the weekly goal, personally. I like having like a focus for the month, which is also what it has up here. Though, I'm going, I think, when I set this up, to do this as sort of a, uh, just an overview very quickly, which is the bird's eye. And then when I open it up, I'll actually see the things that need to get done. So I'm gonna start by doing just a little bit of washi decorating. I am going to mark off my weekends here and put anything from my future log that needs to move over um, to my monthly log as far as like date specific events and tasks. There are a few things from my future log that are not date specific and so those are going to go I believe over on this notes section which is going to be a to do section so I'm going to decorate this a little bit and then get some things started on here. Some of these things, I wasn't really paying attention, but this isn't something that I really want to start doing until the very last day of the month. So not quite so much um, on the tracker, but some of these things, um, she'll see, put a line through the middle of my month. Um, this is where I'm going on maternity leave. And so a lot of the things that I'm planning to do, there's like two different halves of the month. So this, these two weeks, I'm still going to be working. Um, the baby's still going to be at the sitter and all of that. These two and a bit weeks are going to be maternity leave and I have some things that I'd sort of like to make as goals for every day. Some of those things, um, like tending the garden, I still have to do while I'm working because it's not going to tend to itself. Going for a walk is still something that's not a bad idea, so I'm not going to like cross it out as it doesn't need to get done, but I'm not going to enforce myself to do an activity with my toddler. Um, 
while I'm working because most of the days she's not even here. Um, but that's basically my plan is to have some sort of like sit down and do an activity with her. We have some kits and things that she got as birthday gifts, craft projects and um, some like color mixing, sciency type projects. So basically something a bit structured I want to do with her every day up until it's not physically feasible for me. Um, because I do want to really focus on her for the first few weeks of maternity leave while, um, you know, I'm just on disability, but I don't have a newborn to take care of yet to, you know, have that quality time with my toddler while I still can. Um, other things are things that I want to do generally for the month. So as you see, my goals for this month are very generic and generally that's not the kind of goal that I like to set, but really this month, my focus, if I hadn't covered that up with uh, washi tape for this month really is slowing down um, and not focusing on getting stuff done as much as being present in the moment because things are starting to just feel too much physically for me with the pregnancy to be able to want to, I don't want to um, stress myself out too much with the, you know, needing to get stuff done. I really want to focus more on being. So eh, it's a lot of words to just sort of say, I'm not setting myself concrete goals. However, this would be a very good insert, I think, if you did have some concrete goals. So you have six pro you know, up to six projects you're working on. You can then break those down into week long segments and then on your weekly spread, break those segments down even further into daily tasks, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but as it is, I have just sort of generic things here. I have room for two more to write down. I kind of wanted to leave a little bit of space to think about it for the next few days before the month gets here. And then the weekly um, goals here will be um, probably actual things, projects that I do actually want to get done because I will have some time um, during naps or maybe even things that my daughter can help me with. Um, and I will put those as I'm planning out my week ahead. So as it comes, um, there's room here for some more to do tasks as well. And then there's still plenty of room here, um, on my, um, date specific tasks at events list. So as you can see also this month is very busy for us with birthdays and anniversaries. Um, I got these birthday balloon stickers from planner Kate in a recent order and I'm loving them. They're a lot of fun. Um, they're actually, I mean, they're adorable, but they're a little bit tricky. As you may have seen with the first one, I ripped it because you really do want to start with the bottom of these because it is kiss cut all the way between those, uh, strings. So watch out for that if you are ordering those. But, uh, yeah, I have both of my in-laws and my new sister-in-law, not quite, um, are, have birthdays in August. Then my brother is getting married on the 29th, the end of the month. So that's why I say not quite sister-in-law yet. Um, and then this one here I had left over for, I don't know, I had to, I had to use a sticker because if I use a sticker for my brother's wedding, got to use a sticker for my in-laws anniversary as well. But, um, these were both from like samplers, so I don't have, you know, duplicates of them. I don't have wedding stickers because I don't go to that many. I'm not going to this one either because as you see, I'm going to be on maternity leave. I'm going to be 38 weeks pregnant and fortunately they're going to live stream it so I can be there that way. It's just a heck of a year, but I'm really glad that they're moving forward with the wedding um, as scheduled because I, they're really cute together and I'm very excited for them. So this is what we've got. Um, I haven't mentioned it a lot on the channel, but I do have a, a promo code or a coupon code that you can use on mysummertouch.com. Um, this is, like I said, insert 1210. That promo code is G-A-N for Ganchi, G-A-N 15, and that gets you 15% off your order of $6 or more. Um, I just looked up, this insert is actually $5.50, so lucky for you, you get to do some more shopping and check out the rest of her excellent catalog. I use a lot of her inserts. Um, so that is what we have got today. My plan for weeklies is to use, um, actually I did print them out, you can see. I haven't used this insert in a long time. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's their, it's her Grid Lovers Weekly. This is like uh, six months old or something and I used it for a few weeks and loved it. I just haven't used it in a while and I think I'm gonna try it out again because it's been a while and I may even not need dailies. 
Um, I'm going to use this for a couple weeks while I'm still working and then once I hit maternity leave I may not even do that much. I might just work off of my monthly to-do lists here and then use dailies as needed. So that's where I am right now, playing it by ear as always. So make sure to subscribe. There's going to be some updates coming up soon as to what my channel is going to look like during maternity leave. Uh, don't worry, I'm not abandoning you. But uh, I will s explain all of that in a future video. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll see you then. Bye.